Sustainability is a global concept, and a word that we know means something really good. But when it comes down to day by day, what does a sustainable lifestyle mean for you? Theoretically, sustainability has a three-pillar model, which can help you understand what it means. Firstly, we have environmental issues. This is all about making a better environment, protecting biodiversity, protection of resources, and climate protection. Directly translated, it means buying organic goods without pesticides, not overfishing or poaching, and depending less on natural resources, like petrol, which pollute the environment. These natural resources are also numbered, which is why people are putting plenty of time and effort and money into researching new, cleaner ways to make energy, like electrical bikes and cars or wind farms. The second pillar is economic concerns. This means that the responsibility of businesses and industries need to be addressed, like finding local and seasonal vegetables in your supermarket, rather than transporting foods from far away, like mangoes from South Africa by air. Finally, the social pillar of sustainability. This pillar means that we need to find better ways of educating our population, fight for equal rights for everyone, and work towards eradicating poverty. So, where does Cycling for All come in? Why is it important to change the way we transport ourselves? Let me introduce you to Oliver. Ollie is a student at the university. He lives locally, but due to some limitations in his mobility, he travels to and from the university by taxi which is covered by his disabled student allowance. It's a round trip of 5.8 miles every day, and that doesn't include the travelling that the taxi will do to Oliver's house and back to his base. If Ollie travels to uni five days a week, during term time, that equates to nearly 700 miles in a car in one academic year. That's around one third of a tonne of CO2 every year. That's just to study. But what if he cycled? By cycling three of these five days a week, Ollie could reduce his CO2 usage by 78%. That's 0.23 tonnes of CO2 that he could save every year. But there aren't always provisions for disabled people to cycle. Many never have or don't think they can. Cycling for All is providing new ways for students to get around, regardless of their ability. We've got plenty of weird and wonderful bikes to get you moving. Getting into fitness not only promotes a greener lifestyle, but a healthier one for people like Ollie too. Cycling can lead to healthier bodies and minds, and of course, a healthier planet. There's a whole world out there. Get cycling.